Northern California finds itself between two desperately needed rounds of rain. Compounding years of drought have taken a big toll across the state, and particularly on our watersheds. So tonight, we're going to walk those creeks, as you see, with some researchers who are trying to understand more about how the Russian River watershed is responding to all of these dry years. And KPX 5's Wilson Walker shows this story. Survival is impacted by so many things, but only the fish that are in wet, connected areas have a really solid chance of survival in these dry years. Sarah Nossam and the Russian River Monitoring Team are sloshing their way through Dutch Bill Creek in the hills of western Sonoma County. Jay knows this stream intimately. <laughs> that means knowing this stream like a doctor knows a patient, assessing its health in another dry year. So yes, in a sense, we are measuring the drought. We're measuring what does that really mean for these fish? What conditions are they experiencing? Okay, I got 12.8 Celsius and 9.97. Um, the ones that we're focusing on today are temperature and dissolved oxygen. Fish don't just need water. They need good oxygen-rich water that is moving. A water coming in from downstream, but then all this oxygenation that's happening with the bubble curtains and the percolation through the gravels and all of that. And eventually, the fish will need to keep moving as well. They're going to need connection at the mouth so they can move out into the estuary, into the ocean. If you are a coho or a steelhead in Dutch Bill Creek, this is your big interchange on the way to the Pacific. You land in the Russian River here in Monte Rio. But you got to be able to make it here. And this project is about understanding how that creek is changing and what kind of odds these fish are facing as they try to make it out and back. You know, who even has a chance to survive? There are so many factors related to survival, and it's hard enough for them to survive. Um, we see these conditions plummet in pools that are disconnected from surface flow. Oof. Disconnection is the real killer, places where the creek simply dries up. That was once a pool, as you can see from the scour. As we head downstream, there's some very large pools that are completely dry as well. Year by year, the team is piecing together a picture of a watershed stressed by drought, more disconnected streams, tougher conditions. But all the fish know how to do is keep trying, and some coho are actually managing pretty well. The fact that we're able to see so many fish, and not even in the pool, but like standing here on the edge of the pool looking in, indicates that there was really good successful spawning in this reach of stream. And the hope is that a better understanding of the creek and how it's changing can provide better strategies for how to give these fish better odds of surviving. But also just to kind of understand better, like, what we're facing, what we're potentially losing, um, what sort of, like, scale of work is going to be needed if we're going to help, you know, these fish to survive through cli under climate change conditions. And that means keeping a continual watch on creeks like Dutch Bill. In Sonoma County, Wilson Walker, KPIX 5. Thank you, Wilson, for taking us there. Well, San Francisco has a reputation for its dirty streets and a measure going before.